Thank you guys again so much for following and liking my YouTube channel. I really appreciate all the help and support. Uh, you know, today what I really want to talk about is just go over a few things with you all. Um, some things that you can do to help not only improve your career currently, but also some quick ways to improve your LinkedIn. So um, a little bit about myself, for those of you just now watching or seeing this for the first time, I'm a business development manager. I'm a sales manager. Um, what I like to do is help and develop people into their next role uh, through sales or other forms of sales. And for myself, I've had a chance to promote quite a few different people into sales roles, but also sales have been an imp important uh, figure in my own life running a small business called the Coconut Six. So uh, today I want to talk about just a few things that can help you right now really start to elevate yourself and move in the right direction uh, in your career. So when we think about career, uh, one thing most companies will not tell you is the skills you now have had for the last two years actually apply to move on to your next role if you haven't gotten a promotion. And then you can leverage those two years of skills or, you know, performing well, whatever the case is, either within the own co your own company or currently move on to the next one. Mind you, Every time you move to a next company or next job or next role, there should be about a 20%, if not 15, if not sometimes 50% increase in your salary from where you once started to where you're trying to go. So with that being said, think about the things that you're negotiating. So when you're going through the recruiting process, do not be afraid to negotiate. That is the number one reason why people are not successful in creating the salary that they desire or see fit for themselves. So when you think about salary, in negotiation, no matter if it's hourly or a salary role, negotiate. How do you negotiate? You go and make sure you use Glassdoor, and they have other tools, but I use Glassdoor, and you can look up your role and see the salary range, and it'll show you the meter, what pays in your territory, and when we say territory, your region, meaning like the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, uh, and so on. So find out how much they're paying in your region, go in and let them know that you are not going to be able to take anything less than what you saw as the bottom line if you get an offer. Now, this is how you negotiate. You can let them know this is the reason why I'm looking for this as an opportunity, but also why I'm looking to make this amount is because I'm worth X, Y, and Z. And I have proven through my experience of doing X, Y, and Z that that's the reason why I have to only accept that amount. Uh, does that seem reasonable? You know, talking through that and really focusing in on what you're trying to get out of not only what you're creating and how you're creating it, but what you're currently doing to really uh, promote yourself to get the best results. Now, as I mentioned, one other thing that you're going to want to do is as you're working through your companies, clean up your LinkedIn, use your LinkedIn to leverage more opportunities, go in and work with people on your own team and other parts of the department and really focus in on what's going well and what you're doing well. And if you're doing things well in your own department and other places, go and create skills under your profile, have people endorse those skills. And recruiters are always looking and paying attention to these different things. I personally have been able to increase my salary by 20 to 15% because of the endorsed skill set, meaning that I have more people inboxing me about new, uh, open to new opportunities to work than I actually currently um, do having people um, to go out and seek for a new role. So that's what kind of leverage LinkedIn offers. Now, the opportunity as far as Indeed and other platforms, uh, using LinkedIn is something that I've seen for myself in Glassdoor and Indeed as the three main competitors to really scale or change industries. Now, if you're looking to change industries, it's very difficult to change industries. We all know that. But the best way to laterally move into a software as a service of the industry that I'm currently in is to start off at the entry level. So if you start off at that entry level, you can move into an inter intermediate level. So uh, account executives uh, of any certain kind of industries selling larger products, for instance, are going to make a lot of money as far as having an opportunity to make those six figures. Uh, when you become an, a business development rep or a sales development rep at that entry level too, you have an opportunity to make in between 50 to 60, if not 45 uh, to $50,000 plus bonus. So that's the nice part about laddering. Now, let's say you're not passionate about sales, but you want to use this to get into like the engineering department or marketing. This is a good way to not only show the company that you're interested in what the company has going on, you're looking to leverage uh, your skills 
a further down the road and continue to provide uh, for the company like you originally are doing currently in that sales role. So I hope this was helpful. Again, like and subscribe, follow. Appreciate you guys sharing this with your family and friends. And again, don't let anybody unmotivate you to not be motivated to give it your best. If people aren't giving you their best, then they don't deserve you. And they don't deserve where you for where you work at. If folks where you work at not giving you their best, change your job. Change the people around you. Because once you change the people around you, that's when you really start to grow. And if you're really trying to grow, you're not going to let the people who are not growing stay around you. Because you're supposed to go. And once you grow, you'll start to see that a lot of people around you who weren't growing, they'll be exactly where you left them or exactly at the same growth that where you had left them at. So stay encouraged, stay motivated, and stay on top of what you need to do.